Hey you! Have you been a slave to Windows for too long time? Have you the limitations, the frustrations, the telemetry, etc. have fucked you up? Do you wanna transcend? Higher being? Use Linux. If you, um, yeah, if you generally want to make the switch from Windows to Linux and other absolutely legitimate alternatives did not quite convince you, uh, most likely you have stumbled upon uh, Linux. And yeah, I must say Linux is an amazing alternative. I mean, of course, there are some uh, first party programs, etc., which, you know, obviously are not supported on Linux. I mean, there is Wine, which I'm going to elaborate later if you have never heard about it. And there are some, you know, amazing open source programs that do a more than amazing job at replacing the Windows programs you have been used to. Now, what is this video series I'm creating going to be about? This is going to be about audio production primarily. I mean, it's going to split off into some different categories, but this playlist specifically will be about um, audio production. I'm using Endeavor. What I'm also intending to do is demystify Linux, because uh, if you have never heard about it, never worked with it before, and you just first look at it and you see, you know, terminals left and right and thousand commands open, it can be a bit overwhelming, or at least it would seem that way. And that's also uh, one of the biggest topics on my channel, to, you know, demystify Linux, as I've said previously, and you know, make give you a step-by-step -step introduction into how to set up your OS in the computer. And in this video, I will a series I will talk about. You know, first of all, I'll talk about the base installation. Then I will also talk about some tweakings you can make to optimize Arch Linux for audio production. And I'm going to stumble upon many different topics. May it be kernels, may it be the uh, tuned program but this is not something you really need to worry about now because, I mean, there are different kind of kernels you can install. To, uh, with kernels, I mean, you can optimize your pro computer for different purposes. You can install a hardened kernel, for example, if you are generally uh, in, interested in security, for example. You can install the Zen kernel if you're interested in the gaming. You can use the real-time kernel if you're into audio production. And I'm going to uh, give it step by step an explanation to you. How do you use them? How do you install them? It's way easier than it looks. Don't be irritated by that because uh, what I also need to say is, I mean, there are different kind of kernels with different kind of optimizations, but nowadays on modern day hardware, the differences um, in regards of home production is pretty much, uh, you can ignore them. Now, the differences between Arch Linux and Windows and in that regard, you know, how do the operating system works compared to Windows in regards of audio production? How stable is your recording? How often does it shut down? Because yeah, the ASIO driver has given me a lot of frustrations. The Windows version. If you have bought a certain program, for example, or a certain VST plugin, BIOS FX2, for example, which has no official Linux support, and you're not quite sure, should I make the jump from Windows to Linux, because, you know, that program isn't supported on Linux, and I'm not quite sure, and I don't want to risk it specifically, this video series will also give you an idea what kind of programs are working, and what, how do you need to set those up. Uh, I'm using Reaper. Reaper is a DAW, which most of you will be knowing. I think uh, it doesn't really need much explanation. And I will talk about how do you install Linux-specific VST plugins, then how do you install Arch User Repository VST plugins, and how do you install Windows VST plugins. All of them will be extremely important in, in the future, future development of this channel and also you know, for you to get an understanding of the working progress behind them. Topics this playlist will primarily be about is first of all, Yarbridge and Wine. Wine, what is Wine? <laughs> I mean, most of you will know what Wine is, but Wine is not an emulator. 
which is an amazing tool to, for you to utilize Windows programs in Linux. It's really important that, it's, that Wine is not an emulator, <laughs> but a container. The, what the differences are, I will explain later on. You don't need to really think about it that much if you have never heard about the differences between those two, but don't really stress yourself. Then I'm going to talk about Yarbridge. What is Yarbridge? Yarbridge is a tool from the Arch User Repository and it is um, a program specifically to link Windows programs into your Linux store. I will show it exactly step by step. So, and yeah, it's pretty easy once you've done it once. And Pipewire, what is Pipewire? Pipewire is the audio driver I'm utilizing. Pipewire is a pretty amazing tool because it allows you way more flexibility than it would allow um, the AC driver for you on Windows. With Linux, in terms of audio production, but also in gaming, etc., I had a far more stable experience. And what I also need to say is that uh, in terms of performance in latency, one change you will definitely recognize if you would make the jump is, is that uh, Linux uh, provides a far lower latency for audio recording specifically without you know, the, the, the crackling noise you, most of you are used to if you turned, for example, the buffer size way too low. So thanks for watching this video. 